गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एट कंटिन्यूशन वीडियो वंस अगेन फॉर कॉमर्शियल एप्लीकेशन स्टूडेंट्स ऑन द टॉपिक जॉइंट हिंदू फैमिली बिजनेस वी हैव डन प्रीवियसली सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस वेयर वी हैव सीन सोल मीन सिंगल प्रोपराइटर मीन्स ओनर हाउ अ सिंगल ओनर मैनेज द एंटायर बिजनेस दिस इज ऑल्सो समवर्ड सिमिलर बट हियर द सिंगल ओनर गेट्स अ ग्रुप द मेल मेंबर्स and the topic is of, of our today's discussion is joint hindu family business right now what does joint family means yeah the word joint family itself means where we all stay together many many of you dear children you still might be stay in joint families joint families means elder brother younger brother sister grandmother grandfather your father your mom yourself your brother sisters everybody a huge and a happy family staying together right but slowly slowly if you see the trend of joint family is finishing because these days people are moving from the concept of joint family to nucleated family nucleated family means grandmother grandfather stays separately mother father stays separately son and daughters they stay separately these are nucleated families okay so now joint hindu family business is a very old tradition of families business which is the clauses of joint hindu family that you should be undivided you should be undivided yes say for example this form of business has come from ancestral business this is an ancestral means from great great grandfather your uh, say for example somebody's great great grandfather started a business then from those great great grandfather the business transferred to your great grandfather from your great grandfather to father the father to brothers now say for example still today the head of the family in this type of business the head of the family is called the karta a very popular word in the business world is karta dharta you might have heard this word karta is the head of the business is in most probably it can be a grandfather or father okay a say for example a person is a karta and he has got five sons and all five sons are not nucleated all five sons together they work in one single business along with their father the karta the father is the head of the business he is called the karta and all other five sons they will be called as co-partners they are not partners because partnership is a different form of business they will be called as co-partners and the very interesting part or a sad part of this form of business is only male members are allowed to take part in the business so all has to be son not the daughters now there is a different uh, logic behind that this form of business we will not go into those logics but in joint hindu family business the only requirement is you should belong to a hindu family because this form of business is governed by hindu law it's strictly governed by hindu law where the entire business is in control of one person who manages the entire business that is he is called the karta normally he is the head of the family and below him all his sons and grandsons are the co-partners all these people together manage a big business okay this form of business is joint hindu family business now in this <coughs> excuse me in this topic three main things are to be discussed or three main topic one is the formation of joint hindu family which i have clearly discussed second is about its membership i have already briefed you who can be the members yes only the male members are allowed to take part in the business secondly management the entire control who manages the business right business the hard work is there for all the part all the co-partners as well as the karta but the main control of the business the main business is finally managed by karta himself okay then liability as we have discussed unlimited liability in case of sole proprietor but here it is slightly different only karta's liability is unlimited whereas co-partners liabilities are limited that means 
Say for example, uh, this business was managed with a bank loan. Karta might have taken a loan from the bank and later on if Karta is not able to repay back the loan to the bank, what does the bank do? Yes, bank comes and seizes your personal property too. But in this case, <coughs> the personal property of Karta is only taken. The, the personal property of all other co-personers are left. Bank do not even touch those property of the other co-personers. So here it is an advantage for the co-personers, but again it is a disadvantage for the Karta in terms of liability. Payment of the bank loan. Right to accounts, all the accounts, preparation of balance sheet, profit and loss account, calculation of profit, taking of the profit, everything is done by the Karta. He has got the full right to access on the profits of the business and he has he is the only person who has got the right to look after the books of accounts of this form of business. Dissolution. This business does not dissolve until there is a fight. Now how this form of business has been losing its charm that is because it may happen that after the karta dies if in case of the sudden demise or sudden death of karta normally the eldest son becomes the karta and all his remaining brothers are the co -parsoners. Now in many cases what happens after the death of the karta you might have seen the fight starts between all the four or five sons and all our four or five sons they start taking their own shares and they move out of the family business finally what happens joint, joint Hindu family gets dissolved and each and every son they go into another form of business which is sole proprietor instead of becoming united now they get nucleated into small small smaller business that is sole proprietor so these were the clauses, features, characteristics of joint Hindu family. Now coming discussing on merits, like sole proprietor, this form of business, joint Hindu family business, also ha has got a, not much of very legal formalities. Though it is governed by Hindu law, but not much complicated. No legal formalities are to be done. And here freedom of action. Though Karta is the whole soul person to um, have all the rights of the business but co partners also have got equal access or equal responsibilities to be performed okay then secrecy is maintained the secrets of the business mostly remains inside the business because it is a family business there are no outsiders who are joining with terms of liability i have already said that co partners enjoy the liability as limited and there is continuity. Continuity. Continuity means as long as the everybody there is love, harmony, and peace among all the brothers or among all the sons running the business, this business will never come to an end. Despite of the death of the karta, someone else will come and become the karta and manage the business. These are the merits. However, demerits are also there. I told you in any topic, if there are merits, there are likely to have been demerits. Demerit, the biggest demerit is for the Karta. I said, in case he is unable to clear the debt of the bank, if he has taken any loan from the bank, then his and his property shall be auctioned by the bank. And in after that also, if the debts are the bank is unable to recover their dues, then his personal property may also be taken into consideration. This is regarding his unlimited liability. There are certain times hasty decisions. Karta might take a wrong decision too. And uh, these co partners at times, they may also advise Karta and he may not listen to it. There have been situations like this. Uh, then there may be conflicts because uh, you know this form of business, the conflicts are much, 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 much expected. And there are a lot of misuse of fund also expected and the biggest disadvantage discussed in your book is about limited capital. The capital here is mostly these are ancestral form of business. The capital is carried on. It's getting carried on. Sometimes it is a huge amount 
but still compared to joint stock company the other form of uh, uh, this one uh, business which we shall discuss soon after this is much more uh, the volume of the business is much higher because the capital contribution is much more in those form of business like joint stock company and partnership form of business so with this you will be able to do we have finished two topics on uh, ownership structure the first one is sole proprietorship form of business and the today's topic we discussed was joint in the family business so we shall meet once again next week with our new topic on partnership thank you stay safe